Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. This video is not for the close-minded individuals. The ones who can't take anybody else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Preparing to tranny part to Tyra Sanchez video in three, a two, a one. Welcome to my video of Tyra Sanchez quitting drag again. This is going to be the good, the bad, and the ugly. Some call her an icon. Some call her Lucifer. So stay tuned for this journey. RuPaul's Drag Race Season 2 aired February 1st, 2010. Seems like an eternity ago. And that season, dare I say, was an actually really good season. And that was when I was really deeply into RuPaul's Drag Race. It spawned out some lovable, memorable, some hateful characters. <laughs> Just to name a few, Juju B, Tatiana, Raven, and the one who we are discussing today, Tyra Sanchez, who beat out all those other contestants for the crown of season two, which spawned a whole lot of hate from fans and just opened a whole can of worms. But before we get to the bad, let's talk about some of the good. Tyra Sanchez born James William Ross, became America's sweetheart, so he says, <laughs> and he excelled on season two. He won the challenges, he never fell on the bottom, he won three times, and rightfully so, deserved the crown. And yes, he had a little controversy, a little attitude, but so did other people on that show as well, to name two, Tatiana and Raven. And when it came down to the lip sync between the final two, Raven and Tyra, Tyra showed why she was season two's next American drag superstar by giving a killer performance to RuPaul's Jealous of My Boogie. I just and so it went. Tyra snatched the crown and the few edges that I had back in 2010. And at the time, Tyra was the youngest contestant to win RuPaul's Drag Race. And overall, things were going good after the win. He went on to be on RuPaul's Drag U as a drag professor and a mentor of the beauty and fashion challenge woman based competition. In April 2011, he released a first single called Look At Me and a second single called Vogue. And also, he also did a documentary of his son, Jeremiah, and it was called Drag Dad, I believe. And I believe as of 2005, he hasn't had full custody of Jeremiah, which I really think that's horrible. But throughout all the good, there has to be some bad. And this is when things hit Bottom. Cue nuclear sound effect. We can't afford it. What do you mean we can't afford it? It's not in the budget. Fine then, I'll just do it myself. <laughs> Amongst this time, James also had some runs in with the police. He was arrested in Georgia for possession of pot, but Nowadays, doesn't everybody do pot? Uh, legally? So, I don't know. There was also a time where he got arrested for a warrant because he was at an event called Rainbow Cactus and signing autographs and somebody in the audience was probably saying Raven was robbed. You know how they do. And he went to go confront the person but then got attacked by the security guard and claims that they physically abused him and he ended up with scratches and bruises and scrapes. 
Yeah, so just a lot was going on. And then when he went to go try to file a report, they found out he had a warrant and then he got arrested for that. And just, it didn't stop. It just kept going. And then there was a time where a fan went to his account you know, with an annoying tweet saying, you're annoying and left gun emojis. And then Tyra said, girl, kill yourself. And that was met with backlash. As always, fans are allowed to attack you, but you can't say nothing back. I guess it's just the rule of the game. And then there was the issue of Morgan McMichaels, you know, when he had issues with Raven. And then Morgan jumped in, jumped on it as well. And then Tyra did this whole thing about Morgan McMichaels dying and having a memorial. And then Tatiana chimed in. And then all of L.A. hated her. She moved to L.A. to start a better career. But then she can't get booked anywhere because of all the drama. And then there was the thing at DragCon where allegedly she made terrorist attacks you know, saying boom. However, nothing was ever carried through with that. Oh, gosh, so much, so much. But you know what? We're going to just let this old tired hag Nina take over. Good luck. Hello, guys. Yes. Welcome, piggies. Back to Nina Bonita Brown. A raw view, but not really a raw view. But anyway, you guys, I'm tired. Like always, and hungry like always. So if I, excuse me really quick. <clears throat> I need a jello break. Mm. You know, <laughs> I always loved jello, but I remember when somebody was like, oh, you know, jello and gelatin is made out of like pig part and bones. They're like, Ugh. And like I kind of stopped eating them. Then I was like, you know what, girl? I love Jello. Forget it, girl. Be some good bones and pig parts, girl. <laughs> because even gummies are. So it's like whatever. So in case you just somehow ignored the first part and everything, yes, honey, we are discussing Tyra Sanchez and some other things as well. And like it said, if you are somebody who is extra sensitive, you want things to be your way and only your way, you can't see things from different points of views, you want to cancel people and call people thisophobic, thataphobic, just because they don't share the same beliefs as you, this is not the video for you, sis. But if you want to sit here and watch the video and still complain and be hateful in the comment section you will be getting blocked and if you don't care i don't care so you know i was on social media and i saw that tyra um no somebody messaged me was like wait was that or was that on live video whatever the situation was i found out that tyra which wants to be known as james now we'll get to that you know, they have a new page called King Sanchez, King Tyra Sanchez, something like that. And I saw that they left this like three page post, whatever. Um, that they were quitting drag again. Cause I could have sworn there was a time where Tyra said it they were quitting drag before. Okay. <clears throat> Class. It says, so, and this was, it says February 13, 2020, as far as when they, I guess, type, typed it. Um, so I felt this way for many years and I finally reached the point where I am just done. I've outgrown the desire to dress up to be quite honest. That's all it's ever been for me, dress up and get paid. It was a hustle, a job. A quick way to make some cash. It was fun, but I never had an interest in being a drag queen. This isn't how I pictured my life as a child. Never crossed my mind. The only reason I ever did it was because I am the effing best at it. And it was a fun way to make some cash. And because I wanted to feel like Beyonce on stage, all this other bullshit people want to add on probably is what's pushing me to this point sooner than later. 
which I was, I'll get there. I feel like half of the reason why he does want to quit is because he feels how he feels, but also because of the fans that have been bullying him for years. None of that role model, shh. I never signed up to be anyone's effing role model. None of that opening doors for future generations bullcrap. I don't want my son aspiring to be a drag queen. None of that you're changing the world. Half of you are just making shh worse. None of that drag queens are heroes crap. You are actors dressed as actresses to get money. That's it. You aren't fighting wars or saving lives. Stop exaggerating what it is you do. Okay, let me just piggy on some of this. Okay, so but yeah, let me just keep reading and then I'll come back. If you're close to me, then you know it's been a struggle being called Tyra. When I'm James or being referred to as her, when I'm him, I've even lost a friend, someone close, someone I've looked up to for the last 14 years, all because this friend couldn't separate him and her. To them, I was always her. I guess they typed this wrong. Even when I corrected my friend, they still ignored my request, never caring about how James felt or what James wanted. All they cared for was Tyra and what Tyra should, could be doing for them. It was this it was as if I didn't exist to them and they showed no interest in getting to know James. Tyra is a fictional character. She doesn't breathe. She is not real. She cannot walk nor talk. Something created from my imagination. She's an effing puppet that only I can control. Well, he, me, James J is done. I believe Tyra has fulfilled her purpose in my life and it's now time I let her go so I can do things I want and be free to be myself without worry. No more worrying if going to the gym will make me look too manly on stage. Girl, I can relate to that. Hold on. No more of this twink twig body. I want muscles. No more shaving my face. I want to look like Zaddy. No worries of are my arms too strong? Are my abs too defined? None of that shh. Just me doing what I've always wanted. Having the body I've always wanted. Drawing, sewing, and creating like I've always done. Modeling like I've always wanted to do. Starting a new life and entering into a new era. No, this is not to impress anyone or get guys. I hope not. This is about me being comfortable in my own body, about me finally getting to be the grown man I envisioned as a child. Don't get me wrong, I don't hate Tyra. I just don't feel the need for her in my life anymore. And you bitches act like you couldn't effing separate the two. For years, I went through torture, harassment, and bullying all for the sake of my fans, never giving up so that they could have some entertainment. Not anymore. I'm done. I woke up to the other day stressing about Tyra's album and thought to myself, wait, I'm not in school. We aren't married. There's no commitment to this. No deadlines for this. No consequences if I call it quits. No one to answer to. Not going to get my ass beat if I decide to leave. My world won't stop if I, do, if, if I stop doing this. In fact, it'll be much better and easier and I'll be much happier. So why stress over this? I can simply walk away, start over, start a new life, my own. The last 10 years have been absent and she's been in my place. I understand there are fans still counting on me, but my peace is more important. Tyra will be no more. Do not inbox me saying you feel sorry for me and begging for me to stay, respect my effing wishes and stop calling me Tyra, bye. And then he you know, says, follow me his new Instagram, keep up with his journey. Tyra will live, Tyra will live on through my art drawings only. Um, and then he says, my name is James or Jay, not Tyra, her, she, ma'am, or queen. This is your fair warning. Do not leave any comments on any of my social media accounts referring to me as Tyra, her, she, ma'am, or queen. Your comment will be deleted. If you comment correct incorrectly, again, you will be blocked. Tyra be spitting some facts, you know, just like, um, Jazz and Masters do, you know, but Jazz and Masters likes to kind of backtrack and, you know, she's she doesn't really say what she really want to say really anymore because she wants to keep her fans um the issue with tyra is that she the way she delivers the way she delivers things like she said that from, you know where she's from that's how they speak but the thing is you could be from the ghetto be from the hood whatever you're from but you can you don't have to act like you're from that way or you can try to speak in a different way especially when even though you don't want to be this person anymore, you did step into this limelight. And in this limelight, we kind of have to try to carry ourselves a certain way, unfortunately. And so, 
you can say how you feel, but maybe say it in a different way so it doesn't come off like you're just being bitter or mad. So now to own my opinions and things. First, I want to read some a couple of comments. Because, you know, even though this person is saying, this person, Tyra, sorry, James, is, see, it's, that's, that's the thing. Like, I respect that you want to be known as James and not as Tyra. I respect that. But you have to understand that it's going to be hard for some people to call you James right away when, we, when we've been knowing for years that you've been a, this character Tyra. So it's going to take some time to be like he and not she and, you know, but you know, but you know, in gay lingo, we always say she or her. Doesn't really mean that anything by it. Before I read the comments, piggybacking on that, um, I understand that because there are times where I feel like, especially gay men in general, and just even females sometimes, um, they just want to always refer to you as she or Miss Thing or her or honey or your drag name. And it's like, they don't look at you as a man. They don't look at you as, oh, this is a man. Like, you know, when I be like, oh, I'm a top, they're like, girl, bye, girl, girl. That's just like, if I wanted to really, which I do want to act and I wanted to like, try to do a straight role and try to like, be this manly person. I feel like people wouldn't let me live it down that I'm Nina Bonina Brown or that I am gay. Like they'll find some way to bring it up. Um, even when you're like, you know, grinder or something, every now and then you have these like people who are like, hey girl, hey sis. And it's like, ma'am, I'm on grinder as Pierre. I'm not your sis, I'm not your girl, I'm Pierre. It's like they just don't wanna see you as somebody else. Getting back to what he said about worrying about getting too muscular or not shaving because of Tyra. I have talked about this before and I have to agree. Like, it is so, so hard trying to be Pierre when Nina is always the focus. Nina has really been a blessing, but also a curse and has took over my life. You know, there are times where I wanna be more manly, more butch, you know, and I've spent so much time being this feminine person, embracing this femininity. You know, even when I was younger, being on chat lines or being or whatever, I'd be like, yes, I have feminine ways, da 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 da, but I never learned how to be this masculine man. But at the same time, I don't want to be that toxic masculine person who is very toxic. And you know, it's a lot of gay toxic masculine men that hate on anything that is feminine, even though they are. Um, but I spent so much time being this feminine person that, like I said, going back to acting, I would have a hard time trying to be this manly straight man because I couldn't take myself seriously because I because I never learned. Even though I have my father, my uncles who are manly, manly men, I never learned how to like be a man, except for like when I'm topping. That's the only time I'm like a thousand percent masculine. But picking back to that, people think, oh, you're topping. You must be whispering in somebody's ear saying, ooh, honey, does that feel good, Miss Thang? Like, girl, nobody says that. Nobody says that. And then I started working out, but you know, now we can't work out because of, of Miss Rona and her foolishness. But I started working out, but then I'm like, wait, I can't do too much. I don't want my arms to get too butch, too bold, too this, too that, because then I'm gonna look too manly. I know that there are queens like Cameron Michaels and them, but I see a hard jaw and I'm just like, no, I, I can't have that for me. But hold that thought, because there, there was a comment that somebody put and then Tyra responded to it. And then Tyra said something that I'm going to piggyback on. And I know some people here are going to get mad about it. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so yeah, somebody said bearded bodybuilder queens exists and there's no rules to what a queen should should and shouldn't look like everyone is a free everyone is free to choose how they present themselves the world and your decision is valid and respected james so they're being respectful and then giving their opinion and then tyra said this and okay the art of female impersonation is to look like a woman 
No disrespect to those that are bearded, muscle, etc. But we weren't and never will be in the same lane. Where I'm from, drag is all about the illusion, the transformation, the realness. This is you and everyone's problem effing up drag. Sounds familiar like Jasmine. But you know, she changed it up now, girl. You guys try to change the game by choosing what works for you. Legendary drag queens will beg to differ. Even RuPaul won't allow those types of queens on the show. Why? Because that's not the name of the game. Now, this is my opinion. I'm entitled to my opinion. And you can have your opinion, but don't you dare try to call me any kind of phobic or anything because of my opinion. I agree with Tyra. I do. I do. This has slowly been happening where, and it's okay for change, but it's slowly been happening where people have been pushing what they think drag is on what drag has always been and slowly trying to change it to mold into what they want it to be. And some people just probably can't do female illusion. They can't do this, they can't do that. They're too lazy to shave. They are too lazy to really try. So they're like, well, drag is what you make it. You can be what you wanna be. And then you have to go along with it because if you don't, you're canceled. But drag honestly has always been that female illusion. People have, people like the shock factor of seeing this man go to this. And even me, y'all know I do all kind of drag all kind of craziness but the thing is though if i turn to an alien a monkey a possum whatever i'm still gonna make sure that possum is giving you fish girl she's giving you body yaddy yaddy she's giving you the illusion and that is what drag has been but now it is you do see people that just like like i'm not shaving i'm not tucking Girl, I'm not even gonna put any eyelashes on. I'm not gonna put on no no, no foundation. Just a wig. I'm doing drag. And you have to be like, oh girl, you're doing drag, but you're but you really don't think they're doing drag, but you have to say they are because you're trying to please everybody else and their opinions. And even a drag king, they are giving a illusion. They're going from female to male. A shock factor. You know, there are guys like 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 back in Atlanta when I used to go to the club. There are guys that perform as guys. Like they just lip sync to like a guy song, like doing Usher or something like that. I never got into it because I never really saw any transformation. Not that they're not talented, they're not good at what they do. It's just like, okay, you know, okay. And then speak of RuPaul, he said, you know, RuPaul won't allow anybody like that on his show. Slowly RuPaul is changing, probably because of producers and they are kind of pushing people on, but I've always said that too. RuPaul can say that drag is what you make it and we're all born naked and the rest is drag. And I think she just says that to just try to please everybody. But deep inside, RuPaul is very much that old school way, which I don't know if it's old school or just the way of drag is this man given the illusion of a female. And that's what it has worked for him and worked for this show for so many years. That's just what it is. That's just what it is. Doesn't, I'm not saying it's right. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying that that's how RuPaul has been for many years. That's how he sees it. That's how a lot of us see it. And it's not knocking on anybody else. Like, still do you. You can still do drag. You can still do drag. Do your thing. And my thing is, why is everything drag now? So, like, okay... You're a makeup artist and you, every now and then, do a soft cunt beat. Is that drag? Or are you just a makeup artist? <laughs> do you get what I'm saying? Like, that's why sometimes I even like to consider myself just an artist. I'm an artist. You know, and that's what even what Aja's is going through, I believe. Like, she's like, an, like she wants to be known as an artist. That's it. But we're just in this era now where everything is wrong. Everything you say is wrong. You have your own opinion, you're, th you're phobic, you're this, you're that. It's just like, okay, this is your opinion, this is my opinion. Let's agree to disagree and just live life. You know, do you, I'm gonna do me. 
Because no matter, at the end of the day, if it's just my opinion, does it make it right? Does it make it wrong? It's not going to change anything. You can still go out there and call yourself a drag queen and be this sexual, that sexual, everything. This is just how I feel. And I'm just speaking on what Tyra said. And then I live, and in some of the comments, like, people are, like, still, like, referring to him as Tyra, her, da-da-da-da-da. And that's how a lot of fans are, like, I don't say fans, just these people, you know. You can preach and say, hey, this is how I feel. This is what has hurt me. Please try to respect this. And they're just like, I hear you, but no. Like me, I'm like, I did the whole thing on Brunch with Tiffany and have spoke about it many a times that I'm more than Black China. I am more than that. You know, I'm an actual person. I have actual talents. You know, try to just look at me in a different way. And people are still like, I hear you, but you should have been Black China. It's like, <laughs> you're just talking to a wall, honestly. And it's somebody like, didn't you threaten to bomb Dragon? What does that have to do with anything that he just said? <laughs> and then somebody was like, so does that mean that being that you want to quit drag, does Raven get your crown? And she let he let them have it. That's the girl, this is part of the bullying that's been going on for years. Y'all still are hung up on Raven getting a goddamn crown. Raven went on All Stars, did on the show, didn't win twice. Move on, it's okay, Tyra won. And stop acting like Tyra was the only bitchy one or attitude one on that show because Raven and Tatiana, especially Raven, had a bitchy attitude. A really bitchy attitude. Dare I say worse than Tyra probably? But yet the thing is, it's like when a white queen has an attitude, it's looked at as fierce. Ooh, she's fierce. You know, black queen does it, it's like, ooh, you negative, you a bitch. You know, and it's like, that's not right. That's not right for real. Even if Tyra James quit drag, whatever it is, he still won that crown. It's sealed, the deal is sealed, let it go. And picking back on him saying about, you know, never signing up to be a role model and all that, I get that. You know, that's the thing. People think when you get on TV or something, you're supposed to be this role model. They own you. You have to do what they say act how they tell you to act and it's like no that's not how it works like it's good to be, try to be a role model in somebody's life and be a little inspiring but to really just put all your all in me and think that i'm supposed to just be perfect and be this disney character when we're drag queens which drag queens are known to be like uh uh in your face curse you out read da 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 da, da. but a lot of these kids think that drag queens are like disney people like we're just like rainbows and unicorns all the time and it's like no some of the girls can pretend to be that way, but behind closed doors, trust and believe, they just as messy. Just to sum it up, pretty much, you know, it's like Tyra, sorry, James, I understand. You know, I, I part of it, I do, I hope that you're, because I know a lot of guys do want to get muscles and all that just to get a man because gay men are so shallow and we're so shallow and now it's like you gotta have muscles or you gotta be a bear or you gotta have be a, you gotta be hairy you gotta be this in order for men to pay you any kind of attention everybody just looks the same you like for real like, do you know how many hairy bearded men i've seen that look like brothers um <laughs> so i hope that you're not trying to get muscles just to also get a man because you always were cute you don't have to do all that but i do understand wanting to get muscles and get your body more fit for yourself because I want to get there too. I want to get more healthy for myself and not worry about Ugh, looking too big for Nina. I want to, I like having my facial hair, but I can't because I do drag in a way where I think I should have a shaved face to look more feminine. I personally don't want to be a bearded queen. And I know that part of it, like I said, you are quitting because of the torture and the harassment, like you said, you've gotten for years, that will play a toll on you. It will make you bitter. It will make you have an attitude. And people don't get that. You know, they don't get when somebody retaliates back towards them, they come at you in a nasty way, but then when you get back at them, they're like, you're so negative. Like, but why did you come at me that way? You know, and people will look at the fan like, oh, stop picking on the fan. But it's like, you didn't see that fan just call me a monkey? 
No? You didn't see that? Okay. You know, <laughs> and my thing is, I wish you the best and whatever decision you make, if you decide to do drag again, then go for it. I just hope that eventually you get to a point where you truly are happy and that things work out for you. And anybody out there that's going through this situation where you're like, uh, drag is like taking all my money, like for real, like I'll be like wanting to buy Pierre clothes, but I'm like, I gotta buy Nina this wig though, and this makeup and this, and it's hard, it is. But I hope I didn't make anybody mad here, anybody pissed. All I did was state, like I said, once again, my opinion, my feelings, this is what, this is why it's my channel, my, my views. And I don't mind if you leave your view, your comment, your opinion, just be respectful about it. Um, Cause we can agree to disagree and move on. So anyway, share you guys' opinions. What do y'all feel about this whole Tyra situation? What do y'all feel about it? How do y'all feel about the drag community and the masculinity and the femininity and all these things that just are here? Let me know down below, and as always, stay beat, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and thank you guys for being here once again.